Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Sam's Choice English Classic Holiday Fudge. Uh, this, I never saw it when we were going up and down the, uh, the seasonal aisle at Walmart. And then after Christmas, uh, we were going down the aisle. Yeah, we, go, we walked through the aisle and it's just desolate. It's yes, been, it's amazing. It's been wrecked. <laughs> it's amazing how much is just gone, picked over. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like who all of a sudden came in and bought all this. I know because it was packed the last time we had looked, right. and then, then we but went. But we didn't go down. in the day after Christmas. We waited several days yeah. after Christmas. That's true. So a lot that of people probably, bought half off. Yeah, a lot of people probably bought stuff, whatever was left, right, you know, right after. So. Um, Anyway, these were easy to spot since there was hardly anything else there and the normal price of them was $4.98. We only paid $2.49. So I'm kind of glad we didn't see them because yeah. we only had to pay $2.49. If they come out with them next year, you'll know whether they're buying I know. Them. You get three kinds of fudge in here. Not good for your fingernails. <laughs> You get three. Go underneath yeah, you get three kinds of fudge in here. Yeah. You get hot cocoa, chocolate peppermint, and pumpkin spice. It says a selection of flavored fudges made with Belgian chocolate, yogurt flavored coating, and marshmallows. Handmade in small batches. Wow, that's the pumpkin. Do you think we can split those in half? Uh, no. no. I think I'd rather have my own piece. Um, the only thing when I bought these for two forty nine, I thought, am I going to regret not buying more? Because they had like four or five other containers of this. Um, distributed by Walmart. Product of the United Kingdom. Oh, that's good. So, I tell you what, I don't know that I've gotten something from Walmart before that said it was actually not made very in the United Kingdom. I know, that's very well, they different. Make good uh, yeah, yeah. So now I'm really excited. Now I'm really wondering if I shouldn't have bought more. Um, but then again, I don't know what that is. If it's good, do I need this? Uh -huh. Well, one of them was supposed to be uh, pe uh, chocolate peppermint, so I'm sure you'll know. Oh, yeah, this is okay, so that one is the hot cocoa. Peppermint. It's got a little marshmallow. Oh, that's cute. It's got like little mini marshmallows. Yeah. I'm getting out four to say I have some of the pictures. Okay. So we're gonna take ours out of these bags. No, we can pick it up. Oh. One each, and then I'll leave two here. Okay, well let's do, a, oh, the calories, it's a nine servings per container. So nine pieces per bag. Uh, one ounce, about three pieces. Oh, or is it nine servings in this whole thing? Nine servings of, how many servings are, I mean, how many is in this? Three serving? pieces. So there's, yeah, there's nine servings of three. Yeah, okay. So it's 130 calories for three pieces. Yeah. So I want a piece with more. With the white, yeah, I no. know. This one's marbled. Mm. Bad. It's not great. The first ingredient is sugar. <laughs> yeah, it's not, um, it's not great fudge, but it's not bad fudge. And honestly, it has a flavor of peppermint in it. It does. I think where it was in the, in the same bag. container as the peppermint, yeah. it seeped through that flavor so strong that it seeped through. You do get a hint of peppermint. Unless in it. that's the peppermint one. Um, no, I don't think so. Surely not. I don't know. Maybe that's um, the hot chocolate. But you, well, maybe so, because you do. That it does taste it like does, peppermint. It does now. remind me of peppermint. Okay, let's try this one then. Mm. The texture's better than that one. Mm hmm. It's softer. Mm hmm. I think this is the hot chocolate. <laughs> no wonder it tastes like peppermint. No wonder. It tastes like peppermint because it was hot. <laughs> I thought right. it was. I want to have a little bit of a peppermint flavor too. It's like, oh. okay, yeah, definitely. Then the hot cocoa did not have any peppermint, no. so none of the flavor. Let me make that clear. None of it seeped through. No, it was truly we were trying them backwards. Yeah. Um, the hot cocoa, I really like that. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. It's, it's, good. it's much much softer. Yeah, the peppermint was a little. Firm. It was a little far, like it was older. That's, and I know it's not old, but it's like it was made before. Yeah. And 
It does have that feel to it. It has that feel to it. It was good peppermint, but <clears throat> it wasn't really, really strong. But it was definitely there. You saw it. We both tasted it. And then this one is pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin spice. And I don't think... Which is weird to have at Christmas. That, well, I don't think... Uh, the, the United Kingdom, I don't think they do a ton of pumpkin spice. So not. that's what it surprises me. It's made me, for the United States. That it came from the United Kingdom. Well, it's made by a company in the United Kingdom. For an American company. <laughs> mm. That's really good. And that was fairly, it was a little um, denser, but it was it was still very soft. I think they That's were really more heavy on the um, on the nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Which than, I like better than really heavy on the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, I think they were more heavy handed on the nutmeg than we are here. But I love that. And that just very, tells very me good. that if you're watching from the United Kingdom, you all could definitely have this over there. You would think so. You could definitely have your own pumpkin. Mr. Kipling could be making a little pumpkin pies or uh, pumpkin spice cakes. Yes, the little fancies with pumpkin spice or, or little tarts with pumpkin spice. And McVitie's could be making something, you know. Well, you know, Starbucks um, is. I'm sure, yeah. yeah I so, think this is a good mix. I like it too. The only one I did, would, didn't really care for was the peppermint, only because it was denser and It chewier. was more about the texture. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't bad at the all. The flavor was fun. Yeah, because it was a light peppermint. But my favorite, although the I really chocolate. like that pumpkin spice, it's really good. I like the hot yeah, chocolate. Yeah, the hot chocolate best. by far was the best Yeah. One. But it's a good mix. I, I think it's worth the yes. mix, especially if you give her half off right now. I know. <laughs> But if you see them, yeah, your Walmart may still have these. I doubt it. At the time of this video, That's um, true. You, I doubt you'll have any of this stuff left. Uh, but if you do, you'll know for next year uh, that this one would be a good one to mm -hmm. get. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, good still nice good and fresh right now. Five and bucks, five bucks for fudge. That'd be a good. Um, yeah, especially it's still good until May. Yeah. May 31st of 2021 and you know you can tell it's written it this is made for America definitely because of the way the dates written because they don't write their dates the no, same way don't. we do, the do so, the day. so um, I think this would be good good stocking stuff for a good, good it would be of. that's a great size for a stocking stuffer so yeah I would I would buy this again mm -hmm. so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching